Hey guys, Josh Cowden here from Case Academy. Gonna go over the next drill we call the hover drill. This is one of our drills that we do often um, pre-bullpen setting. So the point of this drill for us is to get as furthest down the chain as we can um, and try to make sure that we're in good positions from there. My goal is to reverse engineer the delivery. So if I can get furthest down the delivery without messing it up, and then once I feel good there, I can move further up the chain and start to kind of get into a, uh, uh, you know, start to add more pieces and challenge the delivery more. So this one's called the hover. Uh, what we do from a setup standpoint, if I'm facing you, I want to try to, first things first, I want to kind of sit my butt back. I want to make sure I'm not collapsing the knee forward. From a foot standpoint, I kind of recommend heel to toe. It's kind of variable per person, but that's a good starting point is heel to toe on the front. So that just kind of ensures that my hips are closed. I don't like back here, because as you start to see my back hip, uh, that means I'm kind of opening up early on my hips typically. So from a, from a you know, common standpoint, I like to start closed. Hands in front, again, one of the coaching cues is to kind of cover up my front chest to make sure I'm closed. Sometimes guys get back here with their elbows tucked behind their body. And again, I think that makes it really hard to get to good positions. So we kind of start front shoulder closed, kind of a rolled in position, front shoulder or front, uh, front leg slightly closed. So from there, my goal is to basically begin my drift and descent down the mound. But as I start, I want to think about getting heavy into my heel and I, I want to make sure it happens fast. So if I was going to do a vertical, I wouldn't go slow, 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 slow jump. So just like when I'm pitching, I wouldn't go load, 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 go. I want it to be kind of sudden. So as we go, my coaching cue is get heavy on your heels. Um, also, the, the cue I give that gives, um, you know, what starts my descent, do I start with my hips first and then break, or do I start with my hands first and then go? The answer is it kind of depends on how short or long your arm swing is, but generally speaking, we talk about hands going first. So I'm gonna be set up, I'm gonna throw this way to my catcher, I'm in a good starting position. My first move is gonna be for my hands to go, and as I go, you can see how that kind of drives my hips forward as I, my hand separation pulls me down into my hips. Again, careful to not be too uphill with my hips and shoulders. We wanna be relatively level, slight tilt will happen on its own. So full, full delivery to you would look kind of like this. Hover, my hands separate into my hips, I get heavy late, and I kind of go through the full finish. So into the wall looks like this, again, always offset. So that is the hover drill. Uh, that is one of the drills that we use to kind of uh, get guys feeling the good checkpoints, make sure they're on time, and they've got their uh, timing down from hand separation to foot strike.